Hey guys, I wanted to make a short video to show you how to set up a boost gauge. Uh, it's a fairly simple, straightforward process. Uh, pretty much what you want to do is I gotta close this log file. Okay, on your channels, you want to add barometric pressure. Double click that. And you also want to make sure you have a map sensor. Double click that. So now you have barometric pressure in your scanner and uh, your channels to scan and a manifold absolute pressure in your channels to scan. Okay, next thing you want to do, go to your gauges, gauge layout. You would add a gauge okay in this case I've already have one here and I'll just show you what the actual settings are for mine uh, label it I've labeled mine boost ellipse uh, I'll do I'll show you the math in a second the you want to be an inch of mercury basically I like what a vacuum gauge is decimals is two max uh, just depends on what your what kind of boost you're running. I have mine set at 25 minimum negative 20 that way you can also read vacuum count 10 factor 1 uh, this is just where you want your peaks to show at draw max I have mine set to go into the red at 15.66 minor ticks 5 this is the sweep of the gauge. I have mine set at 135 and 270. This is a location of gauge. This is one that is always fun to play with. Uh, HP tuners is probably the only thing I don't like about it is how you have to, to set these gauges up in the, the actual panel here. Okay, so anyway, your parameter for your math, you're going to want to go to airflow in the maths boost and it's right there already uh, pre-designated so to speak but I'll go ahead and close that out and I'll show you the math itself it's an airflow and there it is uh, here's the ID to it the name boost abbreviation boost and you notice it says boost with barrow reference so that's the reason we have to have barrow enabled in your channels uh, here's the actual math that makes it work. 50030 is your manifold absolute pressure, your map sensor. 50032 is your barometric pressure sensor, which is, as far as I know, your map does both. Uh, close that out and just kind of show you the gauge in action. Uh, here's the log file that I have. Uh, let's see, I'll start right there. And you'll notice here as a I believe the vehicle is idling it's actually showing a, a, a lower amount of, of a vacuum I have a, a fairly decent sized cam in it and as it climbs it's showing boosts and all that good stuff so there you have it uh, over here you'll see the barometric pressure is you know it shouldn't move around too much it's just basically what the sensor senses right off the bat and then you have your map this sensor this is the let's see what the this sensor one there it is that shows the voltage so you log those and everything should be good you have yourself a boost gauge hope that helps somebody as always uh, thanks guys feel free to like or subscribe comment throw any tips towards me you may have and uh Happy hot rodding.